action. Okay, I go by Zoe. Zoe Way Artistry. All right, I am Zoe. Go by Zoe Way Artistry. And all right, let's go. Action. Oh. <laughs> action. All right, cause nah, I just need to get loose. I wish I had a glass of wine. Okay. AM artistry and here on this channel we talk about a little bit of beauty lifestyle fashion vlogging from time to time and have whatever else i feel like talking about and in today's video we'll be discussing foundation yes there are two foundations that i've recently been well one recently the other one i've been using for a long time i just wanted to just do a comparison see if i like both of them see if i didn't like one of them and so if you don't know what you should know by the title one of them are Dior, and then the other one is Dionys and Myris. I'm not going to tell y'all which side is what, because I done already did the video. So when the, when this video play, I'll be in the skull doing <laughs> my foundation. I just want to do a little intro, letting you guys know what this video is going to be. And also introduce myself, okay? If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Like I said, I'm Zoe Bay Artistry, and I would love to have you as a cuzzo, okay? I call all my subby cuzzos, and over here, it's a vibe, so please subscribe. Now, back to this video of hey, If you don't know, I'm a makeup artist. Wait a minute. Bo! I know I was barking. Excuse me. If you don't know, I am a makeup artist. Yes, I do makeup you know, for a living and all that good stuff. I also do waxing and I'm also a nine to five worker. I am a multi-time trade. Yes, I am. But I just wanted to do a review on the Dinesa Myris to see if I like it, see if it's better than the Dior because I'm a true Dior girl. I love that foundation. However, it's just, I want to try something new. So in this video, you will see the difference between the Dior and the Dinesa Myris. You know, would it, would it bring Definitely to the table, how much it costs, all that good stuff. And if you can tell, which side is which. Okay? Alright, so let's get into this video right about now. We're going to begin this video. I am going to do a video of me doing my foundation. Okay? Um, I recently bought the Danessa Myris, um, Danessa Myris video. I recently bought the Dinesses Myris Foundation, Yummy Skin, Focus, and the color 19G, and I also have the Dior Backstage in 6N. I have been using this for a good minute. I love this foundation, don't get me wrong, I truly, truly love it, right? But Sometimes I'm like a more golden olive tone. This sometimes can give a little bit too gold, too, yeah, too olive. Like it sometimes when it like when it oxidizes, I feel like I look a little too yellow. So I was just like, let me try the Danessa Myra's Yum Yum skin because I actually test this out on my hand a while back. And I loved it, but I never went back and, and bought it. So I recently bought it. And I, and I, you know, play with it. The only thing about this is this is for dewy, people who love dewy skin. Now, don't get me wrong. I love me a good dewy skin, but I don't be want to have that like every day. I'm also like a matte girl. So I like for my face to look matte versus than a lot of shiny. But if you are a dewy sis, this have a lot of illumination in it. It was left center right. And yeah, it, 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 it shines. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do one side Danessa and then the other side Dior. And we're gonna see if you guys can tell the difference um, because I always wanted to try it. So I was like, hey, why not try it with my cousins and all that good stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. So let me get a brush. I'm gonna do, I guess I'm gonna do the Dior with this side and then I'm gonna, on this side with my brush and then I'm gonna do the Danessa on this side with my beauty blender. I'm going to prime my face. Now, 
listen, because this is nice. <sighs> Y'all ain't about to get the whole shebang shebang for as skincare. This is about to be just a quick test. Oh my eye itch. And y'all forgive me with my, my, my lashes and stuff like that. I need to get a refill so they look crazy. But yeah, this is about to be just a little nice little test, rundown, all that good stuff. Just to see, can we tell the difference, okay? I'm going in with my Pacifica um, Prime Primer. It's a blur and hydration. Just to cover up the pores and all that. I said the pores. The <laughs> That's it right here to cover up the, the not the paws. The, y'all, yeah, I can't talk, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Cover up, cover up your skin texture. You know? He says oxidized. So I'll put it all over my face. And in my hand. Alright. And if you catch me looking over here, I actually have a, a mirror over here too, so. I will be looking over here from time to time. Okay. Then I take some of the Bobbi Brown. This stuff is really, really good. I take some of this. It smells good too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It smells amazing. I literally just, um, Wipe my face off with some makeup wipes, so my face is a little dry, and this feels so good putting on my face right now. And then I'm gonna put on some eye cream, and then we're gonna get this show rock and rolling. Now, the other day I wore this, uh, makeup outside it lands really really good it wasn't hot enough to see if it's sweat proof the dior is supposed to be sweat proof and skin like so well both of them are supposed to be skin like but the dior is supposed to be sweat proof so um it, it does it does the job for the most part um you know makeup still be attacked okay so we're gonna go on one side this is dior I always just put it over right here. That's one side. As y'all can see, the Dior is on this side. And then we're going in with Danessa. Danessa Naris. This is another side. See if y'all can tell the... The... Okay, so. Already, we can see the Dior is a little bit more golden y'all can see that it's a little more golden and this has got a little more olive in it so i know i wasn't tripping i knew i wasn't tripping i was just like this has like a lot of golden in it and this is more like olive if you guys can see okay so off the break i'm gonna get dior again but i think i'm gonna get dior in warm and what is this hold on i feel like i see something in my lens is that makeup Okay, but I feel like I'm gonna get this in one. But although it's gonna it's gonna do the job now after I like contour, put like my bronzer and stuff on, it definitely blends. But I just knew I saw the difference. Okay, so look, let's just pet this out. Yeah, give this shot a swirl. And don't mind the scarf, y'all. I'm just gonna. I got a new wig on my head and I ain't trying to mess it up. So this is giving medium coverage. Both say medium coverage, but I feel like this gives full coverage. Once I put this side in, you will see the difference. But right now, it's giving skin-like, if you can see. Move a little closer. So that the skin is, it's giving skin-like. Don't mind my dirty brush. Okay, so that's that side. Oh, let me put up a little bit of the, the other side on here. 
Now we're gonna go in with the Beauty Blender. And I don't dab my Beauty Blender, y'all. I feel like when you dab it, it takes away from, it takes makeup away from me in my opinion. It just takes foundation away. So I'm gonna go in it with this side with the Beauty Blender. I feel like I wanna put a little bit more. And then I just love these applicators because they're not messy. Both of them, you can just squeeze it out, which is a plus for me. You can just get focused. Can y'all see that? So, yeah, you can just squeeze it out. There you go. You can just squeeze both of these out. So I love these applicators. Like, I'm, all the other albums are a little too big, but you get the drift. It doesn't run out real bad. Okay, so let's do this side. And see, already you can see the difference in the shine. And this is what I'm like, if you are a girly who likes your, your foundation to look luminous or dewy, then that's it for you. See that? It gives so much dewiness. Like, this is giving skin like. And this is giving, baby, I'm here. Baby, it's giving dewy. So that's the only thing that is like, I will wear this foundation more so in the winter because if it's too hot outside, baby, we're like a ball of sweat. So I would definitely just wear this. Like, I like it because it gives full coverage. If you guys can tell the difference, this is the Vanessa Myris and this is the Dior. Now don't get me wrong, both of them got a little, little flare, a little gloss, but this is just like mirror glass. Like, can you, can y'all see that? Like, I didn't do anything. Like, if you're looking for that doingness, baby, this is it right here. This is, this is it. This is definitely it. Okay? So off the break, but however, can y'all see what I'm saying? Like this side is giving a little more golden. And this side is giving more olive. Like it's like it's like it's giving dead on. But it's like I love both of these foundations, but like I said, I'm more of a matte girl, so. The Dior, the Dior will be more my speed. I just feel like I gotta find another, probably, I don't wanna say warm, I just gotta find another six. I probably have to try warm, although that might be a little reddish, but I'm gonna have to try warm. Because like I said, sometimes I feel like this can be a little yellow. Um, I'm gonna just, you know, dress it up, since I have it on my, side, on my skin. And let's just finish it off with a little something. I ain't about to sit here and do nothing too crazy but we're gonna just dress it off with a little end it off with something we won't look crazy but yes if you are a girl who loves the doingness then i suggest to get yum yum or yummy skin i keep saying yum yum like it's freaking food i suggest to get the yummy skin Oh, and this is e.l.f. Uh, concealer, hydrating uh, camo concealer. Come, come on, camo concealer. It's a satin finish. This is in the color Deep Camel, which I love. I love this concealer. And okay, I'm just gonna just do a little something. I'm not gonna do nothing crazy, cause. I gotta take this stuff off. So I'm gonna, let's go ahead and finish this side. And then you can even tell from the, the difference when I put my concealer on that the shine is still here, baby. It's still there. See, this side I love because it's giving matte. It's not giving so much shine. But like I said, it starts off, it starts off beautiful. But at the end of the day, I feel like I'm somebody's golden Grammys. Okay. <laughs> I 
<laughs> all right so that's that and I'm just gonna go ahead and just put on some blush just to call the night actually I have some blush that's left over on this brush let me see do I have some I have a little bit yeah I have a little bit go over with this brush I got a little bit left do, do this up sometimes you can just take your brush all the way up take your blush all the way up okay so even still you can still see that the luminosity coming through this foundation and don't get me wrong i love this like i love the consistency of this but i just wouldn't wear this like in the summertime when it's hot and it's sweating this would be more so like my winter situation and then again i'm gonna have to change the color because i think now this is like my summer complexion hmm. i might be a little lighter during the winter right so I might gotta get this again, but probably in a deeper color or a darker color. But so far, this is how it looks. And all that good stuff. And yeah, so tell me what you guys think. Are you a dewy girl or are you more so like a matte skin finish girl? Both foundations, in my opinion, are really, really good. It's just that I prefer the Dior. I have to just find that complexion that that's not gonna make me so yellowy because like I say sometimes I feel like I look a little yellowish and then with this I know I'm gonna have to get this again in the winter time but I'm gonna have to probably go a little darker I mean a little lighter because I'm not sure if that's like my color now for the summertime I really haven't been outside and even like say yeah I got dark so maybe this might be my natural color who knows but what you guys think like I said, both products are good. This was about $40. This was $34. However, I get a discount with this because I am a makeup artist. If you are new here, yes, I am a makeup artist. So I get this for like $27 with my discount. Dior doesn't have pro discounts. Not that I know of. I know the girls are getting PR packages and all that and free gifts. But it haven't reached to me yet. It haven't reached to me yet. Now, I get a lot of Bobby Brown. Because every time I do fashion shows... Um, they sponsor it. So I do get a lot of Bobby Browns, but let's put Dior on the sponsorship list or let's put the Dior on the wish list of me working with one day. Yay. Anywho, tell me what you guys think. Like I said, are you a Dior girl? Are you a Danessa Mavis girl? Are you a, a Dewey girl? Are you a Met girl? Both of them are good. So you don't have to worry about that. They both consistency are good and all that good stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, don't love you. Deuces!